Buddy V's Fighters to Watch. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I overloaded last week, so this week I will keep it short, simple. I will pick two and only two. So the very first one that I have was from the scrapyard, Panda Man. I say Panda Man because we already know he's a decent fighter for his fights, but with this last fight with Beach, minus the oil check, because, ooh, that was brutal. <laughs> Uh, he was a great fight. I mean, so many times I thought Beach was going to have him, and he wiggled his way around, flipped it, the reversals. Um, the, there was a few times where I thought the Beach's strikes were going to catch him, and he had a chin. He knew how to work through those moments where I thought he was dazed. He put himself in a proper position to where he was in control. I was blown away by this. A full three rounds, Panda Man really comes out, and he shows. So I think he's a fighter to watch for whatever else that he does in life, just so people know. Two. No love from the West Coast. I think you did an MMA fight around like 185. This fight was killer because I can't remember his opponent's name, but he came out with like a flying kick and his opponent's throwing kicks after kicks he's throwing. And my favorite part is no love was patient. He didn't go, hoo, 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 hoo. he sat there calm and throwing kick, bat, move, bat, move. He's so composed to the point where I think the fight ended in the second round. He just came out and eventually caught the guy, got on the ground, got a good ground and pound going. But the whole fight, he consistently had control. While the other guy was trying to throw this, trying to throw that, he looked like he was making advances, but it was more like he was just throwing and throwing and throwing in the hopes that something was that. He had good technique, don't get me wrong, but he was just going and going. He was more of the aggressor. So those are my two fighters of the, to, fighters of the week to watch. 